Hey guys, it's Tammy. I'm back to do another video. Um, tonight I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to do an acrylic pour on this piece of tree that I have. i got to remember not to move it too much because I'm using something different to film and I'm pretty close up here. So, what I'm going to do is do an acrylic pour using Floetrol, water, paint, and some form of silicone. I'm not sure which one I'm using yet. And um, I was thinking because this is a tree, basically, I'm going to use green colors, like trying to keep it natural almost. I was thinking I would use this Irish moss And then I was hoping to use festive green. I hope this isn't upside down. I'm not used to using this uh, setup, guys. Sorry. Uh, malachite. Hauser dark green. Champagne gold. And I'm trying to decide if I want to use white. I may use a little bit and it would be Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. All right, so my first thing I'm going to show you what I do is my flow trawl. I always strain it because no matter how much I shake it, there are lumps in it. So what I do is I get a cup. I have some already poured into a cup. I put this over an empty cup, cup and just sift it through. There's nothing more annoying than having a beauty, beautiful painting with lumps in it. So this will just assure that if there are any in there, that you catch them. All right. So now that's done. I can start mixing my paints. Another thing when you do that, if you do that, um, you want to find a sieve or a colander that has a very fine netting. All right, so now it's good. All right, so this is how I mix my paints. We'll start with the first one, which will be the dark Hauser green. Ooh, throwing things around here. Getting violent. All right. So. I believe this is a three ounce cup. I would say that's. Uh, maybe an eighth of an inch. As for the flow trial, I'll add an equal amount. Okay, doesn't have to be exact. Now I'll give it a mix. And I will check the consistency. Think you guys can see that it's still a little too thick for my liking so but it's like borderline good so I'll put I'll start with maybe two drops a couple drops just a little tiny bit And you'll be surprised what a couple of drops does. I can't really get that on an angle where you guys can see it, unfortunately. But you want it to flow off of the stick in one st steady stream 
if it plops like goes bloop 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 it's too thick this is flowing off one set steady stream okay so that one's done and it also depends on you know the paints themselves like a metallic is going to be thicker than a regular paint so you may need a little bit more water so we'll do it backwards this time this time i'll put in some flow trial this is a smaller cup this is the two ounce cup that is probably a quarter full now i will add the paint until it's half full quarter flow trial quarter paint now like i said this one's a metallic so it's automatically going to be thicker than the other one so i will need more water in this one very uh see there you caught that one it's like plopping too thick so i put in probably five drops of water there and now i'll check it again and it's still a little thick so I'll put, it was probably like three more drops. Runny yogurt, that's what people say. Or think about a heavy cream when you, or a whipping cream when you just put it in a bowl before you whip it. And then, uh, well, not before you whip it. You whip it for like two seconds and it's like really runny. That's the consistency you're looking for. All right. So. Going to bang these out two at a time now. I'm mixing way too much paint for this. But I wanted to show you guys. And I can't really show you if I only use, you know, a tiny bit of paint. So again, they're quarter full. This is the malachite, which is another metallic. Once you do enough of these, you automatically know just by looking at the paint that you're going to need water. Now, I will tell you, if you use Floetrol and acrylic inks for uh, color, you won't have to add any water. That would be the perfect consistency. If you use flow trawl and high flow acrylics, you would not need any water. Another thing that you can use to judge how thick or thin the paint should be is the flow trawl itself. That's the consistency you're looking for. Right, that's good. That's the consistency you're looking for is the flow trawl consistency. So once you add the paint in, you gotta get it back to that nice runny. Stage. Next I'm going to do Irish moss.
that paint was not mixed good, was not shaken up good. You can see it's, it's separated a little bit. I can show you up close. See the lines in it? That's the, it's separating from itself because it's been sitting for a while. You got to remember some of these paints are in the stores for years before somebody picks the color, so. That can very well happen. You just got to shake them good. That is pretty darn close. So just a couple of drops on that one. Now leave it alone. Yeah, that should be good. Alrighty. And the last color is the gold. The champagne gold. Which I know for a fact is separated. I can see that. So I'm just going to stick a uh, long square stick. They sell these with the popsicle sticks at the hobby stores. I don't know what they're called, but they're square. So I'm just going to mix that up like that before I pour it in the cup. All right. So paint. Floetrol. Mix. This is another metallic, but it's lighter than the previous ones. So as I said before, it all depends on the paint. Definitely needs a little tiny bit of water. I'd say that's probably six drops. And that's good. One stream. All right. Now, white. Do I want to do white? Hmm. Huh. You know what? I think I'm going to leave the white out. And then if I don't like it, I can always go back. So now, uh, silicone. Oh. That made me mad. I really didn't want that there. I'm thinking I'll go like up this way. Silicone. What I usually do with the silicone is I put it in some colors and not in the others. So what I'm going to do is leave it out of the three metallics but put it into these two here. So for my silicone, I am going to use my KY. This stuff does the best. All right, so three drops, four drops. Secret to cells. If you want big cells, put the silicone in. Go one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Just to get it off of the top. If you want smaller cells, beat it in. Okay? More than what I just did. I don't want smaller I want bigger cells. So, you know, I'm thinking that I am going to try to pour out of a salt shaker, I guess. <laughs> this ought to be amusing. So here we go. I am going to pour it in down the sides nice and slowly. I'm going to do three colors, 
three of the greens, gold, and then the last color. And start over. See what kind of action we get out of this uh, shaker. I found it at the dollar store and said, why not? If you guys ever want to do a tree ring pour, this is how you pour it into your cup. You don't use a salt shaker, obviously, but this is how you would pour it nice and slow down the cup, making layers. And last one. Okay. That's how you would do a tree ring pour, which I will do someday for you. I really should have probably did one on the tree ring. It's got its own little rings here. So I'm going to put the top on. And then you guys are going to wish me luck on this. I do not know what's going to happen. I guess I'm just going to let it plop out. No, it might be too thick, guys. It's giving a, a cool little pattern. I'm just shaking it a little bit. Help it along. I guess maybe I should have had it a little bit bigger, uh, thinner, the paint. But it is working. It's just taking a little bit longer. <laughs> the top almost just flew off. That wouldn't have been good. This is going to be very interesting. It's almost like a tree ring pull, uh, pour. I think we're at the end here. All right, let's see what we get. Let me just fire it up for a second. And then I'll stretch it out. I go this way. It's right to the edge. And then out this way. I think there's probably not enough gold in this, but that's okay. We can fix it. Not all is lost. Get it to go over this side here. And then down this way a little bit. Very interesting. Hmm. 
very green. Definitely need to uh, brighten that up. So, let me just get it on a couple of cups here. Excuse me for a minute. All right. I know you can't see the little tip here, but I'm not working on that anyway, so. I'm thinking that maybe I should have gone with the white. Would help if my torch was working. All right, so when all else fails, you take whatever paints you have left and you pour on top of it. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but it's just too much green. Too, too much. Let's separate it a little bit with the gold and a little bit of the brighter green. This time I'm just pouring into the cup there. I'm going to do a little bit of the uh, I wonder if I should have did white. Well, let's try this. I'm just going to swirl these two together really quick. And then what I'm going to do is kind of like come through this way to break it up. And then maybe a little bit up here. Don't worry, it's not going to look like this. I'm just uh, trying to get some more colors in there. All right. So. Let me torch it really quick. Time to refuel that one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is pull out my blow dryer and move that around a little bit. See what I get. It's never a lost cause. You can always do something. So look how much better that is looking already. Now what I'm going to do is take the darker green and kind of outline this here. All right. And then maybe also figure out a way to go down here even though I like this area okay and then also 
I want to use some more of this malachite because I really like this color. So I'm going to go right on top of this darker green with it or right beside it. Okay, just like that. And then I will get my dryer on it again. Now I'm going to leave it alone because I'm really liking it. One thing I'm not liking is the fact that I just got paint over here. So I'm going to try to remove that. And I'm not going to be removing it. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get something to remove it after. Some kind of solvent. Anyway, I got some cells popping up over here. And it's looking good, so I'm going to take you in for a close-up. We just hit it one more time. I think it's pretty cool looking. Another thing you can do with acrylic pores to jazz them up. Let me turn this around somehow so I can actually do it. Not like that, Tammy is you could take some of these areas and pull them out. I have a little tiny pointy stick. Again, they sell these where the popsicle sticks are. You could take like this area and kind of like drag it outwards. Make sure you wipe in between each one. Okay. That gives it a little oomph. Maybe down here. You just want to wipe in between each drag of the stick because if you don't, you'll contaminate the colors with each other and it'll just be a big mess. We could go over here a little bit. Okay, um, you just got to kind of look for things that you would like to pull down. Look over here, pull some of that darker in between these colors. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference doing even something little like that changes the whole painting so look right over here I nice. see how it changed that okay we got some of that color what is that behind there which color is that it looks like it's Frosty almost. Got this big area here you could work with. Hmm. I'll tell you, it's different for sure, but you know, that's what I was looking for. I wanted to do like, you know, you see this old tree in the woods and it's got moss all over it. That's what I was aiming for. So. Once it gets a coat of resin, I think it will look fantastic. 
Anyway, let me pause you guys and bring you in for a close-up. Actually, I don't even have to pause you. I could just zoom in a little bit with this setup. Got some different cells there. Sorry, it's dark. Look at that area. Isn't that crazy? Looks like diamond almost. Like condensation. Like, f it's frosting or something? I, I don't know. Like, condensation? It's weird. Very weird. Anyway, guys. I want to thank you for watching. That area there on the white, I'm going to clean up with some paint remover or something. And then I'm going to resin it. And I'll film that. But I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, happy pouring.